Hello everyone. We are using in every day these smartphones. We are using our own laptops and PCs, browsing their websites, using these apps, and using all of these technology items that talk to each other, communicate with each other. But how, like these magical apps and magical websites? Do what we want to do. Get us the information that we need. Uh, send the data to the other parties that they uh, they want to receive data from us or send us data. How is all that is happening? How is the app is actually built? How is the website is actually done? Well, the foundation and the basic block of Every app, every website, uh, every one of these is code. A code is a language that a, a human used to make the computer do a certain set of tasks and certain set of in, uh, like information to be executed. Now, the code is written by someone. That someone uh, can be like a developer, can be a group of developers, and so on. And there are like, let's call it different levels of developers and different levels of uh, seniority of uh, programmers. Now, these programmers spend their uh, time creating the app and writing that code. Now, the code itself, it's like one of the most interesting things that a human being have created. Because the computer itself, by itself, cannot understand the inputs, cannot understand its surrounding environment. So, by writing code, the code itself goes, do the task ne needed, and does the job the job uh, does the needed job to be done now uh, can a computer write, write its own code and so on uh, currently we still didn't see that in the modern day you still need to have someone to understand the input write the code for it and to get you the desired result now uh, the uh, the computer again if we come back to it it has its own central central processing unit where it has like a process these mathematic operations zeros and one and it doesn't understand like our human being language so when we create that code we are creating an interface between our own understanding and the human or the sorry the computer so the computer talks to the uh, the code talks to the computer and it gets us the results that we desire so let's take you on this journey in how the code is created how the code uh, is published how these apps actually work from the inside and see like for yourself like how this process is actually time consuming uh, and it takes a lot of effort actually to just create a simple app now also uh, we will show you that we are in the age of the code like let's say you wanna uh, do business in China now, okay, you can uh, go on there, hire translators, and so on. But you can also have some someone create uh, maybe a website for you, like a platform, like some shopping platforms out there, and have people register from China, like some certain suppliers, and via that website, without hiring translators and the travel and so on, it can, like, does all the needed for you. So the code can actually bridge down the differences between the world. It is actually bridging down a lot of issues between uh, like 
the different countries and so on you can talk here work with other people right now in different people uh, uh, in different countries around the world and while like sitting in your office or your school and all of that is done via code so let's see how that code is written you will see that code is now an international language and everybody is using it and a lot of people are writing more and more code and more and more software every day so join us in this journey and let's get much deeper inside the code welcome to the age of the code so what is code code is the set of instructions forming a computer programmer which is executed by the computer so we know right now what is a code so let's actually know more about the people or the person that writes code for us and create these websites or mobile application for us So let's talk about who writes code. Now, a software developer or a software engineer is a person that spends maybe eight or nine hours like me in front of the computer to write the code and write this instruction for the computer. So it does some certain task. So, for example, if you, uh, let's say, work in a company and it has uh, some kind of software to manage its different operation, there will be a, a software developer out there that will spend his time sitting down with the uh, PC, taking your requirements and converting them into a real uh, word application where you have a software or mobile app that does facil facilitate your life and make you like uh, able to do your uh, tasks via the softwares now the software developer uh, is a person maybe uh, spent four years uh, in college or two years studying computer science and other related fields where they are teached uh, basics of uh, computers and uh, programming and like how they can uh, how they can uh, uh, work with the uh, computers and develop applications and apps for you now uh, recently uh, Google and other uh, let's say leading uh, companies has uh, dropped the requirement for somebody to uh, that let's say he needs to hold a college degree to enter and work with uh, Google so right now I think that there are more chances for people to come and join and be software developers uh, which is a really nice thing and I think everybody like will have the chance to show to join this uh, this age of code and uh, be able to write softwares and code them now maybe the main challenge when uh, you are uh, a software developer you are uh, trying to match the user uh, expectation uh, to a software computer uh, or co uh, computer software where you need to be an exact and accurate to make sure you do what actually the customer described now sometimes and uh, maybe that's what drive software developers uh, mad out there uh, they you receive something uh, different that, uh, or you receive some inputs from the customer or the client and uh, when you do what they ask for they maybe say this is that we did not know and understand which is a normal uh, thing because like the customer doesn't know exactly sometimes this describe what he needs and 
what he actually needs to do in his work. So, one of the ways or one of the many ways that you can do so you can actually write code is using a code editor so you can write uh, the code. Now there are many different code editors out there. One of them is Visual Studio Code. You can use it, it's for free, you can download it and it's available I think for Windows, Mac uh, and uh, Linux. So it's available everywhere. Now, uh, it does give you some nice features just such as syntax highlighting, code autocomplete, and many things that you can aid you in your uh, development process. There are also what's called an IDE or integrated development environment where it has much more features than any code editor and it can give you way more capabilities that you can use and it will help you a lot in your development process. It's up to you to choose what you want to do so you can uh, create code and so on. And like it's open out there, look for maybe if you're looking for ID, there is Visual Studio, there is uh, Brains, they have different uh, uh, IDEs and it's up to you to choose what you like. Now I'll go to Visual Studio Code with you and I have created just a demo page. Now the internet or the uh, the building blocks of each internet page is called uh, Hypertext uh, Markup Language or HTML and inside that uh, language we describe our web pages so the browsers show it to the user and they can like see the colors, uh, see the text we write and so on. So let's create just a small demo over here and let me show you how actually uh, programming happen. So over here you write the code over here. So I'm going to write the standard uh, hello world. Okay, uh, comment inside our own demo page. Now I'll save this and I'll head back to the browser and I'll refresh for you and hello world, we have this, we actually started the programming, congrats for you. And now you can write code, create HTML pages and do many different things that actually make you take advantage of the capabilities of the computer. So what you can use the code for? You can use it to create softwares, you can use it to create mobile apps, you can create use it to create websites and so on. You can use it to analyze uh, patterns and uh, data and like generate machine learning models to uh, see the patterns and see the different repeated action in the environment. So uh, with all of that, let me tell you the uh, following. Uh, the main point of us writing code is to let the machine do the heavy lifting and the hard work for us. So for example, instead of me uh, doing uh, a task uh, repeatedly uh, that will take me uh, maybe a thousand hours, I will use just create a program to do it for me uh, in maybe just uh, 10 hours and so on. So we take the advantage of the computing power and the processing power that the uh, smartphone, the computer, the cloud and so on uh, provide us and we convert that uh, processing power to generate us uh, some useful information from raw data. Now uh, remember that uh, any application will take data, will process it, and will generate information for you. Now, data is just like raw information, information that is not processed. For example, uh, the gender of uh, how many uh, 
the gender of students inside the class. So that's just a raw data. But how many uh, male uh, students in a certain class? This is an information. It's not a raw data, and we can take it and use it to our advantage to do more things that uh, more are useful for us, like uh, see the different uh, patterns and uh, the unique uh, things for uh, like certain items and take them to uh, understand more the uh, surrounding environment. So, for sure, you are wondering right now, how uh, does the typical day for a software developer or somebody who's like doing development uh, will look like? Well, please allow me to demonstrate to you how the uh, developer and uh, like the people who write code do these things daily. So they start their day like this, as you can see, the human being, they're trying to sleep and relax. And yes, yes, here is our own developer is up. BS, I don't know this guy. Now here is an important part of every developer day, which is taking his coffee. Mm, seems like he's enjoying it. Well, that's good. Hopefully you too as well. So here is comes another part from the developer uh, day where he just like exchanging small talks and like brilliant ideas with colleagues. For example, like, yo, I watched uh, SpongeBob uh, 5 season 5 last night uh, on uh, Netflix and it's way better than uh, season 4. So here you go. Here you have it. Here is how the code is like done in the world. Uh, why why you should learn code and so on we tried in this documentary to give you a nice introduction so you know what's uh, ahead for you so you like prepare yourself if you want to be a developer and so on and we hopefully that uh, you enjoyed this uh, our first documentary uh, and we like we are like uh, let's say we are happy to have you as a viewer and hopefully like we, we you will be like in connection with us either like uh, by joining our mailing list uh, or taking some uh, training with us so please just check the description below for this uh, for more information so i would like to thank uh, thank you for watching this our first uh, ever uh, documentary from advanced software hopefully we will release more and we see you more. So thank you for watching and we see you next time.